Okay, um, so homoatomic uh, molecules, we actually, since they're the same atom, they're only composed of one atom, we actually uh, consider these the elemental forms of these, well, elements. The, these molecules are the elemental forms of these mole uh, elements. So um, there are actually a few of these elements that are very common in a diatomic form, and it's useful to know uh, these particular ones. So it's a, one of the lists, I guess, that you should quote unquote memorize. Eventually, you'll learn how to build the structure, and you won't necessarily have to memorize it. But for the first exam, it's pretty, pretty good to um, memorize. But um, anyways, uh, there's a few of these um, that you want to know. So specifically, um, diatomic, homoatomic uh, gases, usually they're gases, um, some of them like iodine aren't, um, but they exist in equilibrium. But we call these the elemental forms. Okay, so the, these diatoms are elemental forms. So some common ones are H2, O2, like we said, uh, oxygen, if you're familiar with, um, if you want to know the structure of oxygen. Is. And again, you'll learn how to build those later. Um, nitrogen is another common one. So if you go down the periodic table, right, you'll see, well, oxygen, nitrogen. And we'll talk about these lines in between these um, atoms. So these are the atomic symbols, of course. We already said these little dots are called lone pair electrons, which we'll get into later. These lines are called bonds. Um, in between these atoms, we have here a single bond, a double bond, and a triple bond. Again, it's something that's out of the scope of what you need to know right now for the exam or for chapter one or whatever. But it is good to realize that there are structures. Um, these molecules do have a structure associated with them. And then um, all the halogens, which are the ones group seven. Um, so fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So we just usually go with the four common halogens. And they all look um, very similar to hydrogen, except they've got three lone pairs around them, around each of the atomic symbols. So fluorine looks like that. Fluorine is analogous to fluorine. Okay, so it's got that single bond, like we said, and then the three lone pairs around each one of those atoms. Again, it's something you don't need to necessarily know right now, but since we're learning something, we might as well learn as much as we can. And iodine, or iodine, however you want to say it. Like that. Okay, so as you can see, like if you go along the periodic table, kind of looks like that. Right? Hydrogen's over, way over here. In fact, hydrogen sometimes you can think of as all, all the group seven we call halogens. I guess we should write that up here, halogens. And something else you're going to want to know. Hydrogen kind of interlopes with the halogens, as well as the group ones. Okay, so it looks very similar to these other guys. So um, these are the, well, what do we say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the elemental forms of, or the diatomic elements. Okay, a lot of times you'll hear them called the diatomic gases, but um, bromine and iodine really aren't gases. Uh, bromine's a liquid and iodine is a solid, although, you know, they do exist in equilibrium with their gaseous form. If you have them in a sealed container, you can see it fairly readily. Um, 
So, just a list to memorize. Uh, something good, like I said, to memorize for the first exam. Okay.